Today, I want to talk about how Sam Bankman-Fried has finally been snitching on not just Ken Griffin, but the entire Wall Street industry. I want to explain how this will likely end with Sam being completely let off the hook, but with some real criminals going to prison. So stay tuned, and let's make some money. And now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So, Whale Chart tweeted saying breaking news. FTX founder SBF or Sam Bankman Freed is allegedly ratting out everyone in the industry right now to the US authorities. But what kind of proof do we have that Sam is actually ratting out hedge fund managers and those on Wall Street? Well, as Colin tweeted, prosecutors have just quietly dropped five charges against Democrat mega donor Sam Bankman Freed. He's already had five charges dropped and it wouldn't surprise me if he continues ratting out those on Wall Street. The remaining eight charges will also be dropped alongside. At that point, Sam Bankman Free would be completely exonerated, would not end up facing any prison time whatsoever, but we'd hopefully be seeing some real criminals going to prison. Sam obviously has the ins and outs of Wall Street because he worked very closely with those at Citadel and with many other Wall Street firms. We know full well that FTX worked alongside these hedge funds to create AMC tokenized securities. And as I explained in a video recently, these FTX tokens have been on the move once again, falling recently at some point from $4 per token to just $0.025. And again, for some more proof, we can just look at Sam Bankman Freed's treatment compared to some of those other crypto CEOs. As a prime example, Terra founder Do Kwon has just been found guilty of document forgery and sentenced to four months in jail by a Montenegro court. So on one side of the coin, we've got Sam Bankman Freed having five of his charges dropped, and on the other side, Terra founder Do Kwon being imprisoned for an additional four months. And that's likely because Do Kwon is not talking to the authorities and is not ratting out those on Wall Street, but Sam Bankman Freed is speaking as much as he possibly can. And that's why StockSense Frank tweeted, he said, Dear Hedgies, it sure is nice to sit back and relax. Watching you scramble to try and make our stock appear normal is hilarious, but it's not working. He said FTDs have just been magically drying up in the second half of May. Their new tokenized stock or international exchange shares or whatever they're using to deliver shares is working for now. As I said, these FTX tokens were once again on the move very recently, and that's likely what they were using to minimize those AMC FTDs in the second half of May. But obviously these AMC FTX tokenized shares will only be on the move for so long if Sam Bankman Freed is ratting out all of those on Wall Street. It won't be long until he's singing about Ken Griffin and the crimes that Ken is committing, and at that point, those FTX tokens will no longer be on the move, and the AMC FTDs will be back through the roof. And that's why, as Frank tweeted, when whatever it is blows up just like FTX did, I expect the FTDs will come back like a flood. And obviously, when SBF starts singing about Ken Griffin, it won't be long until Citadel ends up collapsing and AMC ends up squeezing. And speaking of Citadel collapsing, I saw this very interesting tweet from Frank about Lawrence Leppard. Lawrence Leppard, the founder of Equity Management Associates, has inside information that Citadel should have gone bankrupt back in 2020, but they were bailed out through swaps. He said in March of 2020, when the pandemic hit and the market took a dip, GameStop didn't begin to trend until mid to late 2020, and finally sneezed in January of 2021. Ken Griffin was already in big trouble at that time, but the swap line saved him and probably made more money on the bull market that followed the pandemic crash. Obviously, I'll link the video of the full interview with Lawrence Leppard down in the description below, where he speaks about how Citadel should have gone bankrupt back in 2020. Again, it wouldn't surprise me if Citadel are indeed insolvent, and that's why I've made a number of videos in the past about Citadel's coming insolvency and coming collapse. Guys, you can currently get a guaranteed free share of Tesla or of Google and a $100 cash reward with Moomoo that you could always use to buy more AMC or GameStop shares. All you have to do is sign up to Moomoo using the link in the description below. When you make a qualifying Moomoo deposit, you get five free stocks and a $100 cash reward or 15 free stocks or 15 free stocks and that free guaranteed share of Tesla or of Google. Now, Game of Trades has tweeted saying, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. We're currently in the greed zone. Now, I've spoken about CNBC's fear and greed index before that basically charts investor sentiment and shows how greedy investors are or how fearful investors are. As you can see in the blue, when greed peaks, that usually marks a recent market top before the next leg down of the market crash or market reversal happens. 
And obviously when market sentiment is way at the bottom in this fear zone, that usually marks a bottom or at least a temporary bottom. And right now we're currently back in that greed zone, likely marking the current market top before the next market reversal. Which is really interesting because Deutsche Bank is putting the chance of a US recession at near 100%. Deutsche Bank's top minds put US recession chances near 100% and say avoiding a hard landing would be historically unprecedented. It says the German multinational bank's top research team believes Washington has sparked a boom-bust cycle that is now nearing its end stage. In its view, the recession is slated to arrive as soon as October, as October is the inevitable consequence of a series of aggressive rate hikes designed to extinguish the very flames of inflation that policymakers ignited through their own actions during the pandemic. So therefore, it looks like the current market is topping out and Deutsche Bank is expecting pretty much a 100% chance of a recession. Obviously, if we see that 100% chance of recession, that would obviously follow with a stock market crash, which would also likely follow with an AMC and GameStop squeeze too. And again, the trigger that would likely cause a stock market reversal and AMC and GameStop squeeze, FTX founder SBF snitching on the entire of Wall Street. Especially as Biggums has posted saying another $79 billion has just exited the US banking system in one week. Over the last week to June 18th, another $79 billion has been withdrawn from the US banking system. It says people are once again pulling large amounts of cash out of the US banking system, according to newly updated stats compiled by the Federal Reserve. And Jerome Powell has said that after pausing rate hikes for the first time in more than a year, the troubled commercial real estate sector will lead to further losses for US banks. He said we do expect that there will be losses, but there will be banks that have concentrations and those banks will experience larger losses. So we're well aware of that and we're monitoring it carefully. So Jerome Powell is expecting a second banking crisis to happen over the next few weeks. Obviously with more cash being withdrawn from the banking system, more cash being withdrawn from Citadel and more cash being withdrawn from the markets to purchase treasury bills and being withdrawn from the overnight repo operations, it wouldn't surprise me if the market does indeed reverse and crash in the next few weeks. And obviously when that does happen, I'd expect some big changes in the AMC price action. I think when we do see AMC squeeze, whether that's due to a Citadel bankruptcy or due to the reverse split or due to shorts being squeezed in the wider market and eventually being forced to close out of their meme stock short positions or a variety of any other reasons, I think when AMC squeezes, it will squeeze very, very quickly. When the shorts are ultimately defeated and no longer have any pressure to hold AMC down, AMC will rocket upwards quicker than ever before because they've not only doubled, tripled and quadrupled down on their investments, but they've also doubled, tripled and quadrupled down on their already doubled, tripled and quadrupled down positions. That means there is now currently so much leverage behind AMC and GameStop shorts that when the bubble does eventually pop and AMC and GameStop squeeze, it will squeeze very, very violently. So guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.